Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. Well, actually, tonight you join me. I'm on the way to Killarney. And I'm going to Killarney because one of the advantages that I have now with the van is I no longer have to leave in the middle of the morning or the middle of the night to get somewhere. So it's the night before right now. It's 20 to 9 in the evening and I'm heading to Killarney for sunrise. I don't know where I'm going to end up. I'm going to drive and I'm going to see and I'll check back in wherever the road leads me when I check the conditions and then I'll find the corresponding location for that. Right, so that's me packed up now for the evening and where I decided to actually come was a place called Ross Castle. And it's a stunning location, it's right on a lake and that's exactly why I came here because I came to check to see was the water going to be flat and in fact it is so hopefully it stays flat now for the evening and with the weather as well at the moment I might end up getting some mist in the morning. I'm just going to close some curtains actually here now as well just to give myself a bit of privacy um, and that's one of the advantages actually with the van is that I can do exactly this, I can close everything off and then I have a nice dark evening for me. Uh, if you might notice I've done a couple of changes to the van so I have changed out the seats and the bed. Um, the cushions that were in there previously they were good but they were small but too thin for me so they were small but too hard so I said you know what I'm going to go for more comfortable uh, cushions and as you can see I've decked them out in red of course to match the van. So yeah it's a bit of uh, van life for the evening now. I'm going to have a bite to eat and I must work, continue to work on my website. Oh, by the way, as an update to my website, I've been flat out really, really building the content. I'm really excited now to go live because I think you're all going to really, really enjoy the content that I've created. I've set myself a deadline. The end of February is when go live date is. So time is ticking. I want to crack on with it. So I'm going to continue to work it here now for the evening. Then I'm going to go to sleep and we'll wake up in the morning. And like I said from the outset, our photography day and adventure will start from then. Good morning. It is a beautiful morning. <clears throat> I'm not probably going to have the conditions that I hope for with any colour in the sky, but I definitely have the nice flat cam water that I was hoping for. And during the night, actually, I had a great night's sleep. Uh, it was quite cold and it rained a bit as well. When I woke this morning, I checked the temperature. It was seven degrees in the van, uh, so it was a lot colder outside. Thankfully, I was nice and toasty and warm and had a great night's sleep. So I'm here now, which is perfect timing. We're on about maybe 20 minutes away from sunrise. So I didn't have to rush or anything to get all the way down here for these conditions. And I'm glad that I didn't have to do that because if I did and came down with the expectations, I would have been disappointed. But still great to be able to be here the night before. And like I would have said yesterday, have a hangout, chill out. And I did a lot of work actually on my uh, website as well. So yeah, very productive. So what we're going to do for this morning here is I'm going to get a couple of shots anyway before the sun comes up. And then once the sun hopefully 
reaches the horizon, I get a nice maybe blush of colour and that'll be nice to add to the end of the scene. But I'll get a first composition set up and then I'll talk you through what I'm doing because I'm aiming to get three shots here today. First shot is going to be this one. Um, the second shot then is over behind you over here. Uh, and then the third shot as well is also behind you over here as well at uh, Ross Castle. So yeah, as the morning goes on and as the light increases, that's when I move to get those different types of shots. If you look now at my first composition here in the morning and where I am is right on the center of the bridge and as you can see here you've got these boats that go up either side and then leading into an infinity point at the very end. Now the sun is just about to come up I don't think there's actually going to be any light but what I'm happy with here is the type of shot that I managed to get because there's nice symmetry within the image. Now to the left hand side uh, here there's if you can just see it on this there is a uh, tree so I might have to do something with that in post I don't know it may or may not be encroaching on the scene but it's a beautiful morning here now and a couple of minutes ago as well I had uh, four ducks that sat round about here in the frame and they were I hope uh, still enough to be able to cap an catch an image of and then a couple of moments ago I heard a bit of a noise behind me and I quickly turned around and I saw a very young deer walking along the wall and I'd hoped to get the camera out in time but I didn't get that time, I didn't get that opportunity but what I did do instead was get a quick bit of footage uh, of him jumping down or her, I'm not quite sure who it is, it's so young but yeah it was great actually to be able to get that for first thing in the morning. This place is, is beautiful um, it's a really, really interesting uh, location. The advantage that you have even in this one spot, as I guess at a moment ago, there's a multitude of different types of images that you can get. If I got a nice bit of light, it would really set it off. But nonetheless, I still think it's going to be a nice shot. I'll give you a look at it now, and then as the light will continue to rise, we move on to our next composition. Now I've come over to my second composition of the morning and I'm actually quite disappointed in a way because even though there's zero wind, the water is not exactly calm. Now it's possibly because the expanses of water that's actually there, but that lake itself can also become calm. Now there's a couple of ducks as well that are just playing in the water here in front of me. So what I've done right now is I'm going for a relatively quick enough exposure time because I don't want to go for a long exposure, even though I have no real light just yet. I don't want to go for a long exposure because I want to try and keep some of the reflections that are in the castle on the water. That's exactly what I was aiming to try and get a photograph of this morning, which was the reflections of that in still calm water. But I'm not going to get that. But by now taking a shot at 1 uh, 25th of a second, I'm at f4. Uh, my ISO actually is at 160, so I still have to bump up my ISO even at the widest aperture that I have on that lens because, like I said, it's still quite dark. It might be deceptive there on that camera. Now, in the distance as well here, you've got the mountain ranges of Killarney, and there's a lovely 
cloud bank actually just sitting right on top of that as well so hopefully now you know when the light does come if it does come because it's quite thick clouds on the east but if i do get a nice bit of light it will really lift this scene and uh, yeah i'll get a nice shot anyway from here so yeah that's my second shot anyway here i'll play around and uh, yeah i'll give you a look at it one side to side and which shot i'm happy with I've opted to go for a different type of shot now again, so an extra shot. And I said I wasn't going to do a long exposure, but I saw, I thought a bit of movement in the clouds here on the mountains in the distance. So plugged in there for a quick time lapse, and I could see there was quite a lot of movement actually on the water. So I've put on now my 10 stop and my graduated ND, and I'm doing a three minute ultra long exposure. And hopefully I'll get a nice bit of movement in the clouds in the sky, and then also with the water, it'll be completely flattened out as well. I have to be very considerate as well of my composition because um, to the left hand side here there's a bit of a, an end wall and then the right hand side but I don't really want to get the entire thing in. I want the left hand side wall to kind of lead out of the frame otherwise it just looks like a castle uh, within the frame but when you actually do that it kind of creates a bit of mystery. Now also because I'm here off season, it's perfect because ordinarily in the summertime, this place would be thronged with people right now. It can be quite popular for obvious reasons. So I've come here now at the right time in relation to that. And secondly, when it's off peak, they don't light up the castle. So for the summertime, because a lot of tourists around Patrick's Day, there's lights that are fixtures on the very base and they light up the castle then uh, at night and obviously in the early morning. So that would have made it very difficult for me to be able to get a shot of it this morning because it would have been so bright, obviously, when it would have been dark. But yeah, this shot now is there, just finished cooking. It's three minutes and 33 seconds. Actually, I think it will be quite nice. Hopefully it will uh, turn out. I'll give you a look at that then as well here before I head over to what's going to be my final composition from this location. I'm over at my final composition that I wanted to have for this castle this morning and um, I've had to get down extremely low and be very considered as well in my approach for my composition. As you can see here uh, the trees are beautifully the way they arch over it but there's a gap in between the trees and I've managed to have the Ross Castle directly between that gap. Now I've gone for a couple of different types of exposure types as well. I've gone for a standard relatively quick one even though the water again isn't flat i would love if it was it's not but i have to go for a relatively quick one to be able to try and freeze that action i have no light so unfortunately there is no light um, this morning it's just a flat gray day but what i've decided to do then is to again put on my uh, filters and go for a very long exposure so i've gone for a three minute and ten second exposure and when I looked at the image there a moment ago, I'm happy because there is a boat that's just over here over my shoulder and there is small bits of movement, but not a lot of movement in the boat. So I don't think it's going to be that difficult or that bad within the image. And obviously then, you know, there's no wind, like I said, from the first thing this morning. So there's no movement in the trees or whatever it might be also. So yeah, that's my final composition now for this location. And incidentally, again, coming here off peak is really good because normally these boats here, 
are being used to bring tourists out onto the, the lake. So they'd be moving and there'd be a lot more movement in the water. So if you ever are coming to Killarney, try and come here off peak and especially uh, this time of year because there's not many people around. So I'm going to finish up in this episode. Thank you very much as always for watching. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, schlange folk.